welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because I am going to get geared back up for fall. I don't know about you, but the beginning of the year always feels like September for me, opposed to January. I just feel like there's a whole sense of refresh and just wanting to get down to business. So I'm gonna be sharing some of my productivity tips and tricks and how I stay on top of not only housework, but how I combine in working out, grocery planning, and then of course work. So how to plan everything out and make sure that you're still living a balanced life, but that you're being as productive as possible. I'm the type of person that if I'm being productive, I am the happiest. So having tools like this really does help my overall quality of life and helps me enjoy my time of relaxation a lot more knowing that I've done the things that I need to do. So let's get right into it. I want to share the different lists and tools I like to use to stay productive, but also to help me get back on track. If you're looking for a total refresh this fall, whether it be with your financial organization, your pantry, your nursery, anything like that, Stationery has all the different tools that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna be using the Daily Productivity and the Weekly Planner mostly for this this video but i also use the grocery list the meal planner all sorts of things and there's a whole bunch of options for you on her website so there's the back on track pack there is the budget planner kit meal planner kit there's pantry labels medicine cabinet inventory like honestly anything that you might be looking for is on here and it's designed so beautifully and very very easy to use so if you are interested in anything I show you today, you can get 20% off of Stationery's Etsy shop to pick up them for yourself. And here's a fun little trick that actually Anne told me herself. So with like the weekly planner that I use very, very often, I printed it out on cardstock and actually had it la laminated so that I can write right on top of it, which makes it super, super easy to reuse and you don't have to feel bad about using a bunch of printables that you're gonna end up throwing out by the end of the day or the end of the week. I don't know if you can tell, like this is super, super thick and now I can reuse this just using a wiper marker, or what is this called? A, what is this called? A whiteboard marker, that's it. A whiteboard marker, and then I can reuse it and I don't have to feel bad about throwing out or recycling things. So I did that with the two things I use the most, the daily productivity and the weekly planner. And these two things were about $12 by the time I printed and laminated for things that I won't use as often. So a meal planner, the freezer inventory, grocery list, things like this. I did not laminate them just to keep the cost down. But once you have them printed and you don't have to do cardstock right away, just use normal paper, you'll kind of see which things that you use the most. And for me, it's definitely these two right here. So that's what we're gonna start on now. But like I said, if you want to try any of these for yourself, please go check out Anne's uh, Etsy shop because I think you will love it. For me, I'm most excited about her budget planner kit because that is an area that I really feel like I could get more organized. So I am looking forward to doing that and I think September is just the perfect time to refresh and restart. the week I'm just filling out the weekly planner which is more like overall things I need to do but 
for the day, there's this awesome daily planner, which you can kind of break down what you want to do on each hour or half hour or as specific or as broad as you would like. So I'm going to fill this out first, just so I have a good idea of what I want to get done today. And wow, we have a lot to do. And here's a closer look at the grocery list, which we will also need to fill out before we go grocery shopping later on. And I'm not gonna use this one today, but here is a freezer inventory. And then this one I will use, this is the meal planner for the week, which I'm gonna focus mainly on dinner, but you can also fill out the other things as well. And this will kind of help me plan on what I need to buy based on what meals we're gonna have. before but we actually just got back from being away for a few days so the whole house is a mess and there's barely any food in the fridge so it's grocery day laundry day get back on track day but something I like to do when I am working on the meal plan for the week is to look at Pinterest to look through the cupboards through the freezer and to look through cookbooks as I am creating my meal plan. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go to the fridge to see what we have. So let's do that. All right, this is gonna be a little messy. It actually doesn't look as empty as I expected because we did bring some stuff home from the cottage, but we've got some leftovers that desperately need to be thrown out because they're from late last week. We have our used first bin with some veggies that I think our time for the, um, what's it called? I'm losing all my words today. <laughs> time for the green bin because these are getting soft. Then on this shelf, we just have all of our different sauces. And here we have cheeses. And we have one of these yeaves, which I'm going to definitely do a taco night this week. I think that is really good. And I love to make the vegetarian meals and Kyle can make the meat. We have lots of eggs for breakfast. That is some leftover produce from the cottage. We have a cauliflower and a broccoli that are so good. We have beets that are so good. We have one onion. Okay, so that needs to be organized and cleaned out. In here, oh goodness, this is messy too. We just did a meat order, um, or Kyle did. I'm not huge on meat, um, cooking it mostly. I like eating it, but I don't like cooking it, and we don't actually eat a lot of meat. But he found this great deal, so we have all this farm fresh meat, which is great, because at least you know that it is ethically sourced. I'm not even sure what those are, but I will definitely write down a barbecue night for Kyle to decide what he's gonna cook. Um, and then, ooh, oh, I thought those were veggie burgers, they're not. I was gonna say, I could definitely do a veggie burger night. And then in here, we have frozen vegetables and such. All right, that needs to be organized. coming in. 
The water is this crazy turquoise color too, but I don't think it's coming out on the camera. And that's my neighbor's boat right there. I don't think he knew the storm was coming in because he usually doesn't have it out there when it's gonna be wavy or anything and the waves are already starting to build. Also, we got new grass. So I don't know if you can see or if you noticed in past videos, but we had a little bit of a flood last spring and we were trying to figure out what to do because we had rocks there, but they just kept going everywhere. So we finished it up with a bunch of grass, or Kyle did, and it's doing quite well. And I'm glad that it has lots of rain coming down on it. So it's gonna bother me for a little bit, just not being able to mow it, but that's okay. By the end, it will look beautiful. It just feels like such a cozy situation having the rain and meal planning here and I wanted to show you this is definitely something I'm going to make I think on when did I say on Saturday stuffed taco sweet potatoes I'm actually just on bits of Bree's good mood food board and I love her food and meal planning ideas just because I am really new to cooking and she makes it seem really achievable and simple so I like that I can learn a lot just through watching her cook and choosing simple meals because if I choose things that are like over the top I just I get overwhelmed and it probably won't turn out so I'm lucky, I have Kyle who loves to cook, so I don't have to as often, but here's what we've got going so far. I'm almost done, and then we'll get to cleaning the fridge. I do apologize but here is what we have going on today we had bagels and peaches for breakfast lunch is kind of an na in our house just because we're both so busy so we kind of just grab whatever's going on and tend to have leftovers we don't really need to plan um, cauliflower orange chicken bowls tonight and there is quotation marks around chicken because they're actually just made of cauliflower then tomorrow, avocado toast with eggs because we have probably 20 avocados right now. That's such an exaggeration, but they're all ripe. So I'm actually gonna have to buy avocados today because those ones are gonna be bad by the end of the day. And then we're gonna do veggie, veggie tacos for dinner tomorrow night. So there's gonna be lots of avocado going on tomorrow. Then on Wednesday, we're gonna do yogurt and berries. Again, NA for lunch. Then barbecue chicken with beets and sweet potato. Then on Thursday, smoothies for breakfast and crock pot pulled pork on a bun. I just started looking through this book and I got so excited for fall. So we're gonna do a crock pot, crock pot dinner this week just to get into the fall spirit, even though it's still summer and very hot here. Then on Friday, we're gonna do yogurt and berries again for breakfast and barbecue burgers and corn. Then on Saturday, pancakes and sausage for breakfast and stuffed taco sweet potatoes, the one I showed you. And then on Sunday, we don't usually have breakfast. We usually have one meal on Sundays and that is a big eggs benedict <laughs> tradition and then we also do the farmers market on Sunday so we'll put together like a charcuterie board if we get hungry later in the evening of any finds we find so like um, I'm talking fresh veggies some cheese some preservatives we just put it all onto a board and pick at it and then for healthy snacks that we can have during the week, we have carrot sticks and dip, cucumber, grapes, Buddha bars, and cheese and crackers. So on the grocery list, I just went under each section, which I love the sections because 
wow, it just started raining so hard. Um, I love the sections because it allows me to make sure I don't forget anything when I'm in a particular area. When I do a normal grocery list, just like on my phone or something, I find that I miss things. So for here, I know I'm gonna be looking at this produce section for the first little bit and just everything is sectioned off. But we have crackers, tortilla chips, blueberries, strawberries, bananas, grapes, watermelon, full carrots, corn, four of those, sweet potato, four of those, mini potato, tomatoes, avocados, red peppers, lettuce, Mexican rice, the two minute rice, um, breakfast sausage, skur yogurt, and Caesar dressing, ranch dressing, pancake mix, buns for the burgers and pulled pork. Um, cold brew for me, and then for laundry and cleaning, I have, I need um, cold tide wash, and I also need to get Myers all-purpose cleaner and hopefully Lysol fabric spray, but that's always hard to find. But that is everything. Let's clean that fridge. Well done, I totally lied. Before we clean the fridge, we have to do some laundry because look, those are all clean, drying. That's clean as well. That's all dirty. This is clean and has been drying. This is completely full. That is empty, thank goodness, because we were away. And then we have our suitcases. So much laundry to unpack. Oh goodness. So let's get something going because it will probably take all day. going through my list and I did a lot of computer time and now it is time to go to the grocery store so I really love these planners because when you do it on the cardstock I can walk around sorry the laundry washing machine is so loud but I can walk around with these and write on them and they're super super firm so I've already done the bank staples. I'm not going to cross off laundry because it's never ending. Um, the logo design, writing, editing I still have to do. Grocery shop is next. I did the fridge clean and I did at least two hours of emails. And then I, I want to stretch tonight because I am really, really sore lately. So anyway, we are going to go to the grocery store now and I am bringing my meal planner and my grocery store list just to double, triple ensure that I am getting everything I need. But I'm so happy to have that fridge tidied up. That wasn't a full deep clean. If you want to see a deep clean video of my fridge, I'll put that below. But I would say that was like, I don't know, more than a weekly clean because usually for a weekly clean, I just wash it all out within the fridge. But the veggie tray you saw it got so bad so in between a deep clean and a weekly clean I would say but anyway let's go to the grocery store now Any 
products here. That's insane. So I guess I'll have to go with the only one left. Okay, that was very successful. I dropped off my car at the oil changing place. There was no lineup. You can't make a reservation right now for oil. I'm not sure why, but there was no lineup and it's right beside the grocery store. So they told me it'll be ready in a half hour and I had to be there in a half hour because they're closing for the night. So that meant I did a power half hour grocery shop and did pretty well. Um, but there were a few things on the list that I couldn't get like baking soda, cold brew coffee, cleaning supplies. Like I don't know what happened to the cleaning supplies and even milk, like the brand of milk that we want to get. So I have to do one more shop and then I can head home. But just a quick tip, like for being productive and motivated and staying motivated, I love to create little challenges like that where I give myself a certain amount of time to get a task done. And if you can multitask, even better. So having the oil change done and not having a half hour wasted. And then on the same time, doing my grocery shop way faster because I wanted to get there in time for the oil. It just really, really works for me. So I don't know if it'll work for you, but hopefully that tip can be helpful. I like to do all my errands at once if possible. And I even plan like probably once a month an entire day of errands and appointments. So I just did that for July and I had like a dentist appointment, a doctor's appointment, a nail appointment. I went to the bank, I did grocery shopping. I can't even remember what I did, but it took all day, but at least I got it all done. And I kind of accounted for that being like a write off day in terms of like computer work. So that is always really helpful too. And then you feel really great at the end of it. Oh, I did like government stuff like Service Canada. Yeah, it was just like a lot in one day, but then it was done. So anyway, we will go to the second grocery store now and then head home to veggie prep and unpack. prep and stock the fridge but I was just talking to Kyle about how disappointing it is that we missed the farmers market this week because first off we love to support local farmers and Ontario grown food but also the amount of plastic on the produce from the grocery store just it makes me feel nauseous <laughs> So it is something that we have tried to prioritize. However, in our area, you can only find farmer's markets on Saturday and Sunday. And if you're away for the weekends like we were, you're kind of out of luck. So let me know what farmer's markets are like in your area, whether you're in Canada or US. I am curious. I personally would love to have one daily. I think that would be awesome. Um, and I think we would use it, but let me know if you shop at farmers markets and what the days are in your area. The kombucha flavor that I'm having today is, or this week, is hibiscus and rose hips, and I will have a glass of this a day all week. Usually I take it either around this time, like five o'clock, in a wine glass, or I take it in the morning with my vitamins. I think I'll leave, leave this one for the evening, Last week I had the ginger one and I loved it in the morning. So, but this one is more of a relaxing afternoon, evening one.
little trick if you don't want to get your fridge all mucky with the corn bag. I just half husk them and cut off the ends and then they stay fresh but there's no mess in your fridge. So I like doing that. And plus it's a lot smaller and that is always good because I don't even know where I'm going to put this. Hmm, gotta put the camera down, okay. Alright, we've got the veggie tray all done. And here is the after of the fridge. So everything nice and neat or as neat as I can. Ideally, there should not be corn on the shelf because that's all of our dips and yogurt and stuff. This is nice and tidy. Down here, we have all of the prep stuff. So I've got prepped strawberries, prepped carrots. Those are leftovers from last night. Then watermelon, cucumber, onion, and salad all prepped. And then this is kind of our leftover station. So throughout the week, We'll always put leftovers on this shelf and that's the stuff that we need to eat first. And then in here, we have more produce. This is all potatoes, different types underneath. Then our main veggies and then we've got berries and then I stuffed the tomatoes in there. So as we run out of stuff from here, I will re-prep and make sure they're all cut and ready to go. But everything looks good and now it's back to laundry.